How's it going everybody? I'm Dr. John Clayton, your latent chiropractor here in Utah at Supra Chiropractic. In today's video, this is for all of you who work on a computer and experience shoulder blade pain that kind of goes up the shoulder to the side here and then also can go up to the neck. And so if you're constantly in a position where you're typing all day long, then you're most likely experiencing pain just like this. And so we went through basically pretty much every muscle group that is involved or gets tight with typing on a computer. And so that's what we're gonna to show towards the end with the dry needling. But this is the adjustment and the dry needling for all the people that work on computers. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, deep breath in here. All the way out. Deep breath in here. <laughs> Super tight. Yeah, bring the star back here for me. As soon as we start moving, those guys next door are doing their construction. You know, you can hear them getting their tape measures ready. All the way out there. Let that relax. Oh, so tight. Deep breath in here. All the way out. Let relax that arm down there. Try it now with this. Deep breath in here. Oh. So it usually makes it a little bit looser when you like put your arm back there, but I know. I feel like it made it tighter almost. Oh. Always so tight on that side. But I say, when you know, whatever side your spouse is sleeping on, that's the tire side, you know? Yeah. So. <laughs> that's not the side. <laughs> oh, what the heck? She's on this side. Oh yeah, because you can totally feel different, even if you're just pushing on it. Yeah, yeah, way more tight over mm -hmm. there. Yeah, but when you play volleyball, you use this hand, right? Yeah. Huh. But I broke this collarbone. Oh. So I think I slouch more, like I hunch over further on that side. Did you ever have it like slung up or anything? Like in the sling? Yeah, with the figure eight. Hmm. But Did it break in the middle? I don't remember. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> So that one's a deep one in there. Oh, yeah, man. Deep breath in here for me. Oh, yeah. Deep breath in here. You're just like Abby. She hates like when that area is adjusted oh, right there. Yeah. So. You know, in the first shoot, though. Yeah, because that's the thing is, if it's shooting like crossing up like this, yes. it could be coming from this guy here, too. That's what it is, it shoots right like that. Right along there. Exactly what you said. Okay, deep breath in here. Uh, oh! <laughs> you can move my hair if we have to do it. You're good. Oh! That one's so hard for me to it, relax. It's so hard to relax. I feel like it's like the kill move in movies, uh -huh. you know? Yep. So. Yeah, everything about it, too. Like, even that muscle compared to this one right here. Mm -hmm. So much tighter. But I think, too, from volleyball, like, this one, I mean, this one does feel tighter here, that lat right there. Yeah. But, I mean, that one's pretty tight as well. But this one's more developed, I think. Yeah. So. But, yeah, everything about it, like, you even feel the difference there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Crazy, crazy. Just got a weak shoulder. Just overly tight, too. Mm -hmm. right, I do see. sleep on my left side the most, though, with oh. that. Like, and I'm a side, like, I've been sleeping on the side, so I kind of, like, tuck this shoulder mm. out under. Interesting. But you're, like, are you, like, constantly flexing it or something? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm asleep. <laughs> mm. Always just... Just preparing for throwing a punch, huh? Yeah. Fight or fly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> There's never a rest and digest over here, you know? You got five kids. This is oh, true. Seriously. Lay on your left side there for me. Lay on it or towards it? Uh, lay on your left side. Yeah. Do your, left, your low back right now. Yeah, because this is how I sleep. 
Is it like that? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, usually I'll say, like, hug a pillow and stuff. Well, I do put one, like, under here since having, like, the tummy tuck. Yeah. Like, I can't because I was always a stomach sleeper. Yeah. But I can't. It hurts to sleep on my stomach, so I'm kind of, like, and this arm's up, oh. and I kind of hug it, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. When I'll do that, too, like, my bottom arm's out, but then my top arm hugs the pillow like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's no, like, golden bullet for sleeping, okay. I feel like. So... This is the question I get. It's like, what pillow's best? What sleeping <laughs> position's best? It's, like, it, it's different person to person. Yeah. So, deep breath in here. <sighs> oh! <laughs> Squeeze the stuff. Squeeze push. the stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> and then lay on your other side there. <sighs> oh, yeah, I always forget. Tuck leg there. Perfect. And then slide down just a little bit so your shoulder doesn't kink in there. There you go. Perfect. Oh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Laying your back there from. Oh. <laughs> that one was so good. Whoa, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, where's it? What's, what's going on with the right hip and not the left hip, I guess. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> There's some days I feel like I need that, though. I'm like, man. Oh. Yeah, my hip would just pop like oh, that. I felt that so strong. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, if, you, if you can't walk on it later, now we'll know why. Right? <laughs> oh, I felt that into my hip again. Yeah, see, that just, was kind of under. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We gave it like seven months to get tight again, I guess, so. You know, I just need to figure out what to do to not, like, plus I have terrible posture, so that's... I think that's the help. biggest thing, honestly, with these shoulder problems yeah. I work on is, you know, if you're working at a desk, you know, what are you going to do, right? So, and if you want to kind of slowly bring that arm down, if it's just too painful, um, you can actually kind of see the needles move as you do it. It's kind of really? crazy. Yeah. Where's the arm? I thought it wasn't bad. Yeah, because the shoulder will kind of disarticulate and roll back down. So the needles went from like going this way to now they're going like that way. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, okay and then this one's going to go right down to the bone here. Boom. That one's one of my favorite ones because it's just got that backdrop of the bone right there. Yeah. Oh, I felt that one. Yeah, that was a good one there. Yeah, I think because you're at a desk more, it's going to be tighter up top. Yeah. So. I know, I'm like, I just need like a thing that just like rips your shoulders back like just keep Seriously. my shoulders <laughs> suction back to the chair okay. so i'm just going to go into this groove right here whoa so is that like a, kind of like a winding up where you're like tightening it up because I don't um, you're putting it in. Not yet. So, no. Okay. So, that's the what the muscle does in reaction to the needle going in there. Okay. It's kind of disrupting the signal a little bit of how the muscle's tight. Okay. So, that's kind of what you're feeling more so. Okay. But, yeah, it's very, like, alien-like. It's like, like it doesn't hurt, but it's like, oh. Yeah, and this it's is like that. uncomfortable. It's like a weird little groove in the shoulder blade, too. Well, I thought that turned down into the arm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right there against the bone. Yeah. yeah, that's a pretty pretty gnarly one too. So if your arms are like elevated mm -hmm. when you're trying to type, like if you're, um, it just depends on your posture with yeah uh, with it. But um, yeah, it's that's another tight one that a lot of people like. That's your number one rotator cuff muscle to injure is your. Really? Super spinatus right there. So, That's there, and then I think we should be able to be able to do probably four. Could maybe hit that posterior delt too there. But well, you feel most a lot of it up in here. It's mostly a lot like the round part of the shoulder blade. Oh, okay, that part down here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it does. If it gets bad, it will move up into there. But like right now, it's mostly like right where you're pushing is right. The worst. Kind of where it radiates and then kind of goes up and down from there. Okay. But it's not horrible not like when the first time I came in and did it. Okay. Yeah, with that shoulder, with that lowest what I have down there, that should really hit it good, I think. Okay. So. But yeah, like I said, I'll try and change it up a little bit each time. Okay. That is super tight. Oh, yeah, I felt that one. Oh. Yeah, that one hurt. And this like mid belly area is really, really fun on the muscle. Right, and smack dab in the middle of it. Oh yeah, I can feel that. Oh yeah, get that little tweak in there. 
Mm-hmm. It's not like a, a pain, but it's like a good pain, you know? It's like, yeah. oh, I can feel yeah. that. Well, it's like, you're in the muscle, you know? Yeah. And like, it's, it's good and bad. Like, I, I love massage. Like, I just got a massage yesterday. Mm -hmm. But it's like, sometimes you just need it a little bit deeper, and that's where the yeah. dry needling goes. I don't think I need as long of ones for your rear delt. So, but it's going to go, like, right along here. Okay. So... It doesn't feel too, too tight right here, but when you had your arm back the other way, it was pretty tight. How's that? Well, and I've tried to be like, when I do like exercises, mm -hmm. like I've been trying to, like, I lift weights and so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna need to build up my back, but I, my, my back and my shoulders are so weak. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I can barely, some of them I'm like, I'm only doing like five pounders. I'm like, I feel like biggest ones. Well, and honestly, when it comes to um, shoulders, the lighter the weight, the better. Oh, really? Right. So, well, I'd yeah. said then, because I can't do, I'm like five and two pounders, and I yeah. need to get me some, like, eight pounders, but. Yeah, when it comes to a lot of the shoulder stuff, um, I always tell people, it's like, if you can't, I mean, you think you're doing a ton of weight and stuff, and you're doing a really good job, mm -hmm. but you compromise your form extremely. Yes. You when you start going up heavy. Yeah. And so even like all my bodybuilders, um, if they have like a muscle group that's not activating properly, um, then it's like, all right, lighten the weight and then let's go over your form. Right. And then well, most... Well, then they always say like, oh, you need to increase your weight eventually. Like, okay, do a little bit more this time. But I'm like, if I do a little bit more, then I'm like, But yeah, like, the, I think the big mistake too that a lot of people make is they, um, when they do shoulder workouts, is they're their arms or their shoulders are rolled forward like they're like typing on a computer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so they go to activate their muscles and their muscles won't turn on yeah um because of their poor posture yeah and so if you if you double check your posture as you're doing the workout like have a mirror in your like workout area in your house uh -huh. and then um see from there um how it is well, but yeah, if you're like, that feels tender, just touch it. yeah, that one's going to be, I think oh, you're, yeah. your culprit right there. So. Get these, I'll turn them on in just a sec too. I'm just going to get these all on here. I look like a computers <laughs> motherboard here in just a sec. Yeah, because we're going hit, to be hitting it from a lot of different angles compared to last time. Okay. It's definitely the part that takes the longest is getting them all hooked up and then yeah. turned on properly. So. Yeah, when I show this too, when I'm when I'm doing the filming, mm -hmm. is that um, I, like a lot of people are like, "Am I doing it high enough?" And it's like you kind of just go until you can, so you, I can, you handle, can handle, it. handle it. So and usually we can figure that out real quick. I mean, if your needles are in a good position, th then it shouldn't take much, right? To yeah, to go up. So especially if you're hitting like specific muscle groups, like how we have here. Mm -hmm. um, 
But yeah, if the needles aren't in deep enough or whatnot, you can usually take a lot more. So we're gonna turn on the ones, um, I'm gonna do the uh, shoulder ones up here first. Okay. So tell me when you start feeling it. Shouldn't take much. I can feel it. Okay. Oh, there it goes. You can see it pulsing there. Okay. So just tell me when to stop and have a hold at. Okay, that's right. No, that's not take. That did not take much. <laughs> okay. It's and not like a hurt. It's just the. It's intense. intense. Yeah. yeah. So now here's your fun spot right there. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go right through there. Okay, I can feel it. Okay. Let me tell it to stop. Feels good. Keep going though. Yeah. Okay, maybe right there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Pretty good there. You almost maxed it out. So. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. This next one's a little bit different. Um, this is going to be the lat one right here. So okay. that one, that muscle right here on the side. Okay. almost like you're more focused on the other ones. It's like, exactly. You're like, do I feel it or not? Or not? Right? Yep. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good there. Yeah. Just a little bit. Okay. Sometimes you're like, and it wraps up too quick. And you're like, oh, turn down. Yeah. This one's going to be your rear delt right here. Your uh, back shoulder muscle here. Oh, I that did not that. take much. Yeah, that yep. one came quick. Yep. And then now we're going to do, this is going to be for the... Let's see, black ones here. Okay, how do these light up here? Okay, this one's for the infraspinatus right there. Okay, that's okay. good. Thank you. Okay, and this last one here is going to be on the supraspinatus up in here. It's going to follow the same line as this rear delt. Oh, I don't even know anymore. I can feel it yeah, all. Oh my they're God. all on the same oh. pulse. Okay, is that intense enough there? Yeah, probably. Okay. Perfect. You're a champ. You did it. It's like you said, though, that one, I can just, it's like. It's like deep ache in there almost. Well, and it doesn't hurt. It feels good, but it's like. It's like pulling it all, you know, like mm -hmm. it's the the problem child. Yes. Yeah. That would be cute though. Like, yeah. watch this. And it's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Those are the smallest ones we had in there, so. Not really Mm -mm. Like, should I feel it? Uh, the ones that we twisted up really strongly, you will feel okay. come out more because um, they're kind of wound up into the um, skin there and the muscles. So, so like these next ones here, mm -hmm. these are the ones that are going to be, ooh, oh, yeah, okay. you can feel your skin like really fight against it. And especially these ones. Ooh. Like, see the whole skin just moves still. So I have to like unloosen it a little bit and then pull. Mm. And it still is like rrr, rrr, a little bit squeaky coming out of there. Oh, okay. Yeah, fucking yep. pull that one. That one's really locked in there. Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> Definitely a little bit squeaky on that one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, when it comes to shoulder blade pain, there's a lot of muscles that go through this area and there's even more that you can even go through between the neck as well as the mid to low back. And so we mainly focused on the ones in the shoulder, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more videos just like this. And if there's any things that you want to see or you have questions about that you've seen in other chiropractic videos, uh, like I said, leave them in the comments below. And if it's something that that needs to be clarified. I'd love to make a video for you guys about it or even show what that particular thing is in a video as well. So again, if you like these videos, um, I invite you guys to even come to see chiropractic to have me work on you. If you are in the Utah area or if you need this kind of treatment, wherever you're at, always feel free to hit me up and I'd love to take care of you guys. Again, I'm Dr. John Clayton, your Lacing Chiropractor here in Utah. 
at Supra Chiropractic, where? At Supra Chiropractic, we've got your back and everything else. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.